All right, it's Friday, December 6, 2024. Fireworks erupting in a congressional hearing yesterday between Republicans and the acting director of the Secret Service. Why? What happened? Well, there's a backstory here. Also, Barack Obama stepping up to deliver some direction to his flailing party and giving us some insight into why Joe Biden must deliver these sweeping pardons that we're hearing about. Crazy. And we have an update also on these mysterious car-sized drones in Morris County, New Jersey. The story just got a whole lot stranger. We have a statement from the mayor of Florham Park about this, talking about some of the creepy things these drones or these UAP have been seen and captured on video doing. But before we get started, thank you for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps out the channel. And consider subscribing so you don't miss these regular updates. So Donald Trump's Butler, Pennsylvania rally will go down as one of the most historically significant political rallies in presidential history. But the act that made it so significant is already the most forgotten. It's now been five months, almost six months, since Thomas Matthew Crooks tried to assassinate Donald Trump at that Pennsylvania rally and killed an innocent father and husband in the process. We've been following this investigation since it happened, trying to ask questions and we still know very, very little. What was Crook's motive for the shooting? How did the Secret Service even let this guy get eight shots off? Why was his house professionally scrubbed? What did the FBI find when they finally broke into his phone? How did a 20-year-old come to possess two improvised explosive devices that they found in the trunk of his car? And what was he planning on using them for? None of these questions do we have the answers for. It's been almost six months Ask yourself, do we know anything more about this guy than we did the day after this happened? And the answer is no, absolutely no, we don't. The last official update we got was on August 28th, in which the FBI told us they don't have a definitive motive and they haven't uncovered any credible evidence for, co -consp for co-conspirators. That's it. Three and a half months since the last update. Well, yesterday, Republicans in Congress tried to find some of these answers by holding a hearing with the acting Secret Service Director. Watch this. Congressman, what you're not seeing is the sack of the detail off out of the picture's view. And that is the day where we remember the more than 3,000 people that have died on 9-11. I actually responded to Ground Zero. I was there going through the ashes of the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. I was there at Fresh Kills. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking there, you Congressman, if you were the sick, were I you was the special there agent in charge? To show respect you were not. for a Secret oh, Service a member horse, that hockey. died on 9-11. Oh, that you're trying to be. Do not invoke 9-11 for political purposes. Oh, Congress. that I'm not. I'm invoking this. You are, sir. No, no, I'm you not. are out Gentlemen. of line. Gentlemen. I would like to ask him a question. Please. You are order. out of line, Don't order. try to bully me. I order. am an elected member of Congress, and I'm asking you a serious question, and you and are playing politics. I am a politics. public servant who has served this nation, and you won't time answer the question. On our day, on our country's Mr. darkest Mr. day, the will, will come not to not order. Politicize it. So instead of answering their questions, serious questions from our elected representatives, this guy lashes out, provides zero information, no new information. All he says is, we don't want to rush to judgment. The DOJ withheld requested info from Congress about this shooter. They're not telling us what was on his phone, even though they know what's on it. They're withholding information that Congress is demanding. The whole thing just reeks, reeks like a cover-up. This is as high profile a crime as you get someone shooting Donald Trump in the head and we get nothing, absolutely nothing. January 20th can't come soon enough. We need Cash Patel in that job, in the FBI director spot, who, by the way, Cash plans on setting up a 24-7 declassification office, which would be awesome to constantly roll out new information. We need change, and we, and we need it yesterday. And our next story ties into this, actually. Barack Obama comes out this week to provide some, to provide some direction to the Democrat Party. In this speech, he accuses the Republicans of cheating and politicizing the Justice Department, but also in the process gives the green light to Biden on these pardons that he's about to issue. That's how I interpreted this. Pardons for all the Obamaites, for Liz Cheney, Anthony Fauci, Adam Schiff, for anyone and everyone who went after Donald Trump over the last eight years, saying 
when you have one side stacking the deck, going after their opponents, sometimes you have to do things you wouldn't otherwise want to do. That's basically what he said. Watch this. There are going to be times, potentially, when one side tries to stack the deck and lock in a, 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 a permanent grip on power, either by actively suppressing votes or politicizing the armed forces or using uh, the judiciary, the criminal justice system to go after opponents. And in those circumstances, pluralism does not call for us to just stand back and say, well, I'm not sure. That's okay. In those circumstances, a line has been crossed and we have to stand firm. It's like we're living in the upside down. I've heard this like over and over again the last few days, these high profile Dems coming out saying Republicans are using the judiciary to go after opponents. Barack Obama just said that. He just said that they're using the judiciary to go after their opponents. This is called projection, but it's more than that, right? They don't believe this for a minute. I don't think they believe it. They know they're the ones who are doing this, who use the justice system for politics, and now it's coming back to bite them. They're saying this to give themselves cover for the massive number of pardons that Joe Biden's getting ready to dish out. And it's not only Obama saying this. Listen to CNN yesterday. It's like mind-numbing how backwards all of this is. Watch. The, the question is, would they accept a pardon? Because if you don't think you did anything wrong, which they didn't, they might want to not take a pardon. But I will say this. You're talking about an unprecedented crew of people coming in. They're, they're, listen, even if they don't indict you, they could investigate you into bankruptcy, torture you with FBI investigations. Kash Patel is evidently going to be our next FBI director. Is that what you want to be dealing with for the rest President of your life? Trump during the time he was out of office? President Trump got actually indicted by I mean, a grand jury. They tried well, to bankrupt him. They tried to oh raid his house. Pre 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 Trump's DOJ didn't go after Democrats. Trump never did that. It was Biden's DOJ that arrested and threw in prison dozens of Trump's allies. Even Trump himself they arrested. You all know this. So do I think this is just them projecting what they're guilty of? I don't. I think this is Barack Obama going out in public unenthusiastically, reluctantly delivering the new talking points to his party, telling them this is how you answer questions about the pardons that are coming. In another story, we have an update on the mysterious drones or UAP that have been hovering over Morris County, New Jersey for the last two weeks. This is a much, much bigger story than you're hearing on corporate media. The Biden administration is now involved. Congress is now involved. Obtaining a briefing on this this morning. So after this classified briefing concludes, we hope to learn more about what happened in it. But we talked to Congressman Burchett before he walked in there, Mike. He says one of the reasons he didn't want to show up is uh, if, he, if he learns something new or something he already knows, he's technically not supposed to even talk about it. If these are not little green aliens, who do lawmakers think is responsible for these drones? It started with just local police, then the state police got involved, then the FBI last week joined the investigation, then Biden's FAA issued a no-fly zone over the area for all drone activity. Well, that was a week ago, and the crafts are returning every single night, right around dusk, hovering over people's homes, critical infrastructure, and even over military base Picatinny Arsenal. Watch this. That mystery continues in the sky over New Jersey. People now reporting even more drone sightings. Law enforcement confirms there have been sightings in Morris, Somerset, and Warren counties. Nick Calloway has been on top of the story from the beginning and has the latest. It definitely wasn't a plane because it was too low. And um, it was also going back and forth and then forwards and backwards. Melissa Kasilniak took this cell phone video Wednesday night from her home in Chatham in Morris County. She says that large object with the flashing red and green lights was hovering just above her neighbor's rooftops. I think the creepy part is not that it's just a drone, that they're so large. And something I'm starting to notice is drones are like the new scapegoat for the U.S. government and for the media. They used to blame these UAP sightings on swamp gas. It's just swamp gas. Don't worry about it. Now they're blaming them on drones. Well, this is too big to blame on civilian drones. The crafts are apparently the size of cars. 
and everyone is seeing them. Morris County is like a super populated area. The mayor of Florham Park came out last night and said, these things are huge. They're at least the size of a small car and that he's been in contact with the authorities who have no answers for him yet, but that they believe there's nefarious intent behind them and that they're hovering over our critical infrastructure. Fox News even reporting that the drones are affecting residents' electronics when they hover over your house or your car, your clocks will stop working, and then when they leave or the car drives away, all of a sudden your clock starts to work again. Roll the tape. A flying drone mystery raising alarms in New Jersey. There are clusters of large drones swarming the skies near the Bedminster Golf Club belonging to President-elect Trump. What is going on? Nate Foy with an update in our newsroom. Hi, Nate. Hey, Dana. So one witness says it's like a parade. The drones just keep coming one after another, and you can hear them coming because they're so loud. Listen to the power of this drone last night. So residents in Morris County tell me this has been happening every single night with the exception of Thanksgiving over the past few weeks. One family claims they followed a drone in their car and while it hovered above them, the clock in their car changed times. Then they say the clock went back to normal after they drove off. Witnesses also talk about the size of these drones. Some say they can be as big as a small car. Despite the growing concern, though, Morris County officials insist, quote, there continues to be no known threat to public safety. But residents tell Fox they're becoming more worried. The FAA is continuing to temporarily restrict flights over Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster and the Picatinny Arsenal military base. But authorities in Morris County this morning say they have no new information to share as the mystery continues. They look uh, like a small car to me. Their, um, their wingspans are probably six feet across. Mark like Taylor is the mayor of Florham Park, one town north of Chatham. People are calling, myself, my home. Uh, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where they are alarmed. The FBI is investigating the clusters of possible drones reported over the last few weeks. Florham Park's police chief sent a message to residents that drone sightings have been reported above critical infrastructure, such as water reservoirs, electric transmission lines, rail stations, police departments, and military installations. He added that their presence appears nefarious in nature. Now look, the first question I have is why hasn't the military military shot one down. Well, I have some info about that. First, you could argue Morris County, like I said, very populated area, the metropolitan area, one of the most populated places in the country. If you shoot one down, you risk affecting or damaging property, hurting civilians. But according to legendary investigative journalist George Knapp, who is super looped in on this subject, he has phenomenal contacts over at the DOD, he knows a lot of people. He says the military did try to take one down using our advanced anti-drone tech and they failed. Our technology has no effect on these things, he says. Watch this. We build craft that look like their craft. They build craft that look like ours. It's underway right now. These drone things that are popping up over air, air bases, drones, a nice uh, prosaic term that calms us down. Well, maybe somebody went to Amazon and bought one or Walmart or something. Uh, uh They're trying to shoot those things down. They haven't been able to using the kind of uh, sophisticated anti-drone technology. It doesn't work uh, on these things. I think these those drones are from there's something else and they're telling us something. All right. That wraps up this episode. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.